we're taking a look at things people say about lasers. So, do lasers hide bad shooting techniques? Well, one of the most important things about making a laser work is having a good trigger press, good trigger control. And one of the best drills for that is the balling dummy drill. And a balling dummy drill is basically dummy rounds mixed in with live fire rounds. And so you're gonna see what happens on target. But when you have a laser on the gun, you can really see what happens on target. Let me show you what we're talking about here. If I'm, to, I'm shooting here and the gun goes dry and I press the trigger, the gun shouldn't move, right? Well, you're gonna see that with the laser on target. Now, if I do it incorrectly and maybe I'm yanking the trigger a little bit, it happens to all of us, this is what you're gonna see. And that's when, for a right-handed pistol shooter, the shots start hitting low and left, right? So let's do this live fire. I'm gonna start off by doing it wrong. We're gonna yank this trigger a little bit, and then I'm gonna attempt to do it right. See the laser move on target. It's hard to do it wrong sometimes. See how that happens? See that shot going a little low and left? There you go, another low and left. Now let's try to do it the right way. So as you can see, there's nowhere to hide when the laser is down there showing you what's happening. And if you're teaching people how to shoot, this can be a great tool because now you can actually see what's happening on target even when, if they say they're not yanking the trigger, there's nowhere to hide on this. So the ball and dummy drill, great for trigger control. So do lasers groove a bad shooting technique? I don't think so. I think if you have a bad shooting technique, you're still gonna be having you know, inaccurate shots, but it can certainly help you drill a good shooting technique.